Guys, that was one hell of a direct, if I can say so. I mean, I have seen a lot of people complaining about this one, but I suppose people have different opinions and different tastes in games, but I feel like, and I got this a lot in my inbox also, this is the direct that was made for you, Isha, because there was game after game after game that I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting this one, I'm getting this one, I'm definitely reviewing this one. It was just non-stop. <laughs> I'm like, like, when are they gonna stop with the game style for me in this direct? They just never stopped. And the ending, oh my god. I mean, I think I can speak for everyone when I say the ending was good. Okay, so when the direct happened, I wasn't even at home. So I grabbed a pen and paper at the place where I was at. And I wrote some notes, so I'm gonna go over the direct with you my highlights at least and if you have the same taste in games as i do you will love what was shown and announced in this direct now they start out with fire emblem engage i wrote in my notes here gorgeous graphics i truly enjoy what fire emblem does with their graphics i don't know what they do but sometimes in their cutscenes it looks super sharp and crisp and their art style is like it has this small black line around every character so a cell shaded style going on and if you know me I love cell shaded style and anything that is going in that direction gorgeous graphics this fire emblem game has the tactical combat that we know from the main line of fire emblems which I can appreciate I did very much enjoy fire emblem three houses still recommend that game for everyone if you haven't played that so this one I'm definitely gonna review there were new and old characters and a hub area from what I could see. You could change your clothes and it is having its release date January the 20th next year. Then they announced It Takes Two, which is coming to the Switch, but I have no interest in that game. Then they said a new Fatal Frame game will drop to the Switch. I have the first one that was dropped to the Switch, but I have not played it a lot. It's a horror game with a girl and a camera. And this one apparently was a Wii exclusive in Japan from what I heard. It's now coming to the Switch. And then we have the wave two of the expansion pack for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And you know what? Someone asked me, is the expansion pack for Xenoblade Chronicles 3 worth it right now? And I said, no. I was just being honest. Nah, it's not worth it right now. And still with what they have shown in the wave two of the expansion pack, nah. <laughs> the main game is where it's at. Still, if you ask me. There's a new SpongeBob 3D platformer coming. I have tried the Bikini Bottom one and I didn't like it. But I do love 3D platformers, but I don't like SpongeBob. Fitness boxing, I am not interested in sports games. Tunic, which is an isometric action adventure game with traps and puzzles, very Zelda inspired. And I heard over at Nintendo Life here on YouTube that they know the developer of the game, something like that which is funny. And it took like six or seven years to develop this game, so I will play it. I think it looks cute. Now we are getting into some surprises. I was very surprised when I saw this one. Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life is getting a remake. What? This game. I did a review on this and I had forgotten all about that, that I did a review on my channel probably five years ago by now. It's a game that I grew up with. I played this game a lot while family was watching, but from my memory, it was not the best farming game. Actually, I didn't grow many crops in the game. It's more about, in my opinion, the farm animals. And it is really easy to conquer your spouse in this game, is what I remember. Also, some tragic stories happens in the game, but it's a very mysterious game and the music is very memorable. It's getting a remake. Did not see that one coming. It changed name to Story of Seasons, but you know that. It was called Harvest Moon. That's coming out in summer 2023. Now Splatoon Splatfest. I have never attended a Splatfest, but Nintendo did send over Splatoon 3 to me. I have not opened it yet. <laughs> but what do you guys think of Splatoon 3? Let me know down below and I will read every single comment. I know some people are hardcore fans. Now Nintendo did also send over a hoodie with Splatoon 3. Super nice. Thank you, Bergsala. I love hoodies. So they sent over this one and a bag. This one. 
Octopath Traveler 2 from Square Enix. Square Enix was on fire. I have only tried Octopath Traveler 1, so I'm not excited about Octopath Traveler 2. But it is a big RPG with intertwined stories between eight main characters. Now, a game that I will play. This one I am excited about. Fay Farm. It is a farming simulator with spells to grow your crops and it has multiplayer where you can farm together with your friends, collect stuff and you can be doing crafting and customize your home. All the elements that I enjoy in a good farming simulator. I'm looking forward to this one. I will be playing that on day one and it is coming out in spring 2023. Then we have Theater Rhythm. Not interested, sorry. And Mario Rabbits, a new one. But this one had some sort of RPG elements in it. It is called Sparks of Hope. I am not gonna play that, not interested. Okay, so here is my second what just happened moment. What actually just happened? Rune Factory 3 remade on the Switch. I have been going on and on about Rune Factory and I have said that Rune Factory 3 is the only Rune Factory game that I don't have and I have never played because it's so expensive on eBay, impossible to get a hold of that copy. A subscriber of my channel sent over the cover but it is impossible to get hold of the game so I only have the cover. So this game is coming to the Switch. If you're hearing noises right now that is my cat. He likes to be down here when mommy is working. I was legitimately surprised. I'm just looking forward to this. Now, there's one other thing, actually. When they talked about this one, cool, I will get it, all of that. But then they showed Rune Factory and then they said a sentence and I wrote down the sentence because it didn't make sense to me. A new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. A new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. What do they mean with this? Another genre, a subgenre from the already subgenre of Harvest Moon. I'm intrigued. More N64 games. Mario Parties, Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, 1080 Snowboarding, and all of these are if you have the Switch Online expansion, which I do recommend that you get because of cloud saves. And the N64 and the Super Nintendo and all of that stuff that you get. And then they said GoldenEye will be having online play. I know a bunch of people are, are gonna be happy with that one. Then there was a game called Various Day Life. This is Square Enix and I will not be playing it. Okay, this is what I have gotten in my inbox for the past day now. Isha Gaming, did you see Atelier Ryza 3 being announced? This couldn't have come sooner. I'm so looking forward to Ryza 3. You guys know that Ryza 1 and 2, I love those games. More people need to get their eyes up for Atelier and the complexity within these games. They are not just cute graphics. They are complex with this crafting system. And another thing, the Ryza 1 and 2 crafting system is my favorite crafting system across all Atelier games. So I'm soon having three Ryzas sort of thing. I wrote down flying question mark and riding on sea creatures question mark. Some fun ways to travel the land which makes me think are the areas in the game gonna be more open? Is this gonna be an open world game? Looking really good. And all of the friends in the gang they have this even more mature look to them. I'm looking forward to meeting all of those guys again. Claudia in particular. This one is coming out February 24th of 2023. As you have noticed, a lot of the games announced in this direct are for next year. New Mario Kart tracks Peach Gardens in particular from the DS era. I do play the new tracks with family watching. Nintendo Switch Sports update delayed. <laughs> Oopsie. Pikmin Bloom, I am not interested, but it is a GPS based phone game and a step counter, probably for the people that really enjoyed Pokemon Go. Pikmin 4, announced title screen. Not excited. I have not played any Pikmin game. Harvestella, life simulator RPG with a demo out now. 
demo is currently downloading upstairs, which is also a Square Enix game because like I said, Square Enix is on fire these days. And this one is coming out November the 4th. I will talk more about that really soon because I'm gonna try the demo first. But as you can see, it is a Isha Gaming approved game sort of thing already. <laughs> Very good. Bayonetta 3, I am not interested. Now, Rain Code is a game by the creators of Danganronpa. Anyways, you play as an amnesiac detective solving unsolved cases where you just gather a lot of clues and evidence. I love the graphics of this game and I know the writers of Danganronpa are really good with storytelling. Resident Evil Village is gonna be playable on Switch in the cloud. <laughs> What do you guys think about cloud gaming? I see the Switch is trying to dip their toes into cloud gaming nowadays. I mean, the obvious con to cloud gaming is that you gotta have a good internet connection. Leave a comment down below about that. Okay, then we have Final Fantasy VII Reunion. I am not interested. Tales of Symphonia Remaster, and I wrote question mark, again question mark. Is it being remastered again or is it the same remaster that I already have? Which is this one. Already remastered. It was originally a GameCube game. But this made me think, are they forgetting the sin of the series? A lot of people are saying that Tales of Symphonia 2 is the worst Tales of game. They did not say anything about that. Uh, I will not be needing this remaster because it's excellent on the PS3 already. So then they had a bunch of smaller announcements like Disney Speedstorm and a bunch of games that I don't care about, basically. But another Kirby game. Another one. Again. How many Kirby games are there now? And this one, they are remaking an older one, which seems to be a theme, somewhat, anyways. Which is Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I wrote down really cute graphics and it has a bunch of multiplayer minigames along with it. I am not a big fan of 2D platformers, but if I'm gonna like some, it would be this sort of game. And then they told us the title and release date of the Breath of the Wild 2 sequel. 2 sequel. Also has been codenamed Breath of the Wild 2 for a century now. And it is called Tears of the Kingdom. It's kind of an unfortunate name right now if you are watching the news. The United Kingdoms. But anyways, they just had to go with that. We only got about 10 seconds of somewhat gameplay -y gameplay, where you are seen jumping off this kingdom in the skies, kind of like Skyward Sword vibes going on. We knew that. And you travel up and down from the kingdom in the skies and then down. Ah, uh, we don't know. <laughs> but the release date is said to be May 12th next year. They have a hard date now at least, and I don't think that they will pull out on this date now. That would be embarrassing. So now we know when it's coming. I wish there were more gameplay shown, but the entire world wished that too. So guys, what did you think of that direct? Are you as disappointed as a lot of YouTubers currently are? Maybe it was a lot of focus on farming simulators and Italian. <laughs> and farming simulators, and life simulators, and a bunch of remakes. But I think, guys, personally, that this is the best direct I have seen in all memory. I was gonna say all recent memory, but then again, I'm gonna go all out and say all memory. I enjoyed and I loved this direct. I feel like it was catered towards me in particular. I have so many games now to look forward to. It is an insane, time to be alive guys that's what i think about the direct leave your thoughts down below and i will try to be active in the comment section now in the ending now i'm gonna open something i got in my post box <laughs> it's a package from new zealand britta you know in edit right now i think i spent a good five minutes opening the package but you will never know that because of editing Now everything makes sense, guys. I had no idea who this was from. I did not connect the names. 
my cat. Sorry about the noises, my cat is going nuts. But yeah, I remember this now. Thank you so much. Food for Dogs sent me over her beautiful pin. This makes me so happy. This is a YouTube friendship. This is what makes YouTube fun. The friendships that we develop on this platform. It's a Food for Dogs enamel pin. Dear Irene, I hope you like the pin. A small token of my appreciation for your YouTube work and collegial positive personality, Britta. Fantastic, I absolutely adore this. Thank you so much, I love your YouTube channel. Shout out to Food for Dogs. We have the same taste in games and I am sure she is just as excited as I am about this Nintendo Direct. Thank you, Britta. Really good, I was surprised now. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video podcast that we just dropped. Keep on listening to Disc Disc and I will see you later, guys. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>